to do a project on tessellations, and this is it right here. All right, so let's start off with tessellations. What are they? What do they want from us? I'll just tell you the definition to start off with. Te uh, tessellations are shapes that repeat over and over again, covering a plane without any gaps or overlap. Pretty cool, huh? Well, uh, in this program, I'll be showing you what they are, you know, some good examples that will be coming up soon, and, uh, you know, how to watch for them, you know, look out for those little tessellations. <laughs> so, my first example of a tessellation is wakeboarding, and you wouldn't think wakeboarding, but it really is. The way um, the wakeboarder um, rides out and then digs in to hit the wake before every jump is exactly the same every time. So that's the example I used. So here are some clips to prove my point. down here, maybe you can't see, but if you can, then they're different in elevation. It's so crazy, but that's like a hair contrast, so example number two, sidewalk. Oh, hello there. Here we are at our next example of the tessellation. I was supposed to use that bridge over there. So, that didn't work out because um, we aren't able to ride our little kayaks over, so now, <laughs> now we're going to, my next example I've just now decided is this lawn chair. Ooh, ah. Because... The pattern is the thing. Keep it they go. They're repeating throughout the whole chair, as you can see. Isn't that great? Wow. Goodbye for now. Hey there again. So, uh, some of you might think that tessellations, they all have symmetry. You're wrong. I just want to let you know. Symmetry is a uh, correspondence in size and form and arrangement. or point. So, pretty much if I were to say, if you were to cut me in half, would I be exactly the same on both sides? Yes. <laughs> That's symmetry. Really? But, come with me. If you were to cut this rock right here in half, no bueno. It's not the same on both sides. So, uh, yeah, the symmetry isn't there, but it is sometimes.
second tessellation example. Um, let me let me get in real close for you so you can see what we're looking at. This is a nice little string of uh, stars. Colors change throughout the strand, but it is still the same uh, pattern throughout. I just want to throw out that this has no symmetry because step back and look at it, well, what kind of shape is that? It's no shape. It is nothing up there. But, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Look at those stars. Good pattern going on right there. And that's example number two. So, the last topic is the history of tessellations. Now, you wouldn't think there's too much history besides the obvious stuff, which I'm going to go over. So, um, alright, um, his history of tessellations, it's pretty obvious, you know, it's visibly all around us, patterns on the floor, patterns on the ceiling, shapes, windows, doors, blah, 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 but, um, but really, it dates back to like 1600s where like the ancient Romans and Greeks were making their really intricate designs of buildings and they made really awesome designs out of tessellations. So that's where that comes from. Also, other groups of people that, um, uh, Japan and China, they've got a really big history of like ceramics and uh, you know, stuff like that, like, I don't know, just building an architecture has a lot of tessellations built into it, but people just don't notice it, and, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the history of tessellations, so, recap for you right there, nice and, uh, quick little history from 1600s till now, so, you know, alrighty. All right, finite math class. I hope you learned something because my grade depends on it. I hope. I don't know, but I hope this video counts for something. Um, all right, so let's recap what we've learned today. Uh, tessellations, repeating patterns over a plane. Like, for example, let's, let's just run through our examples we did today. Wakeboarding. We did some sidewalk. We... Uh, we looked at that chair down by the beach. Those are everywhere. You know, I know pretty much all of you have probably sat on one before. Um, let's see. We talked about symmetry, how some tessellations have it and some don't at all. <laughs> like that strand of whatever hanging on the wall. Um, yeah, we also went through a soccer ball and the carnival ride, the Ferris wheel, of course. That one, very nice symmetry. Very fun, you know get a funnel cake, ride that thing, just be set all night. So yeah, and you saw my cartwheel. That was my create your own tessellation. And we talked about the history of tessellations. So um, hope you guys had fun on this little video journey. Woo! But uh, all right, let's give me an A for this one. Yeah, A, woohoo! All right, I'm just kidding, no but really. Oh.